up guys the hill twins are here back, back at, at it again, again with another video and yes, this sir. time we have da, 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 da. Check. so um over the weekend guys i played in my store championship and um i got fourth place losing only to eon which was kind of which kind of sucks because i got fourth place was, yep. he eon got first place um but um yeah i played hatchiak i built the deck the night before i was like yo you know what King Vegeta and another a bunch of other decks are running rampant, and so I feel like Hachiak would be cool. Um, so real quick, I'll jump into him if you guys don't know what he does. He's a permanent that basically when you attack with a battle card, um, you can only attack uh, once with battle cards energy cost seven or less, unless you're attacking with the same card. So unless the card doesn't have dual attack or you have a way of restanding it, you can only attack once with battle cards seven or less. Um, then he has an activate main. You can um, take the top card of your deck, put it under him, take the top card of your deck, put it in the drop, and then draw one card. And when he, he awakens. Three. Correct. He awakens when you have all mono black energy and uh, not mono black cards, just black energy and also um, three, three more three, cards. Three cards under him. Yeah. My bad. So when he awakens, draw a card. No on top energy sucks, but it's fine. Attacks. He becomes 5k and draws a card, so it's a 20k leader. He has the same effect built in, which is that Nimbus like effect, that floodgate effect. And um, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Um, so yeah, that was the leader. And uh, let's jump into the deck. So we got one Kami Global Unifier. Uh, this card is just amazing. When you play him, you draw a card, and then you can tap two energy um, to blow up the board if your opponent has four or more battle, battle cards. cards in play and also what's so cool is that this also triggers even if they have token cards in play mm -hmm. to consider the battle cards and this gets around barriers yep, so it ignores barrier. a lot of decks that are playing cards that have those three three drop barrier yeah you know, floodgates or stuff like that um so blanket trip, effects he just deals with ko it. can uh -huh. be searched for with yep. the next card in the deck yep and he's a power burst target we play one Dark Power Black Mass Sand. Again, this is the Power Burst target, so we only have to play one because this is a Power Burst deck. <laughs> Anyways, I like that. Um, Power Burst deck. I know, right? <clears throat> Actually, um, the Power This is just burst. here for just certain matchups. He just checks certain things, and uh, a lot of times he's good to take your life too, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, next, we got two of our Supreme Kind of Time Disruptor. Mm -hmm. and that's exactly what she is a Disruptor. Um, basically, there's a lot of fast-paced decks in the meta that are trying to attack you with one drops and two drops. She says no. Point blank. Yep. So, um, we play two of her. What's cool about her is that even if, you know, if your opponent's not running a deck that can utilize She's a one-drop attacker, she just is a great counter-timing cantrip that, you know, lets you utilize energy that you left open. Otherwise, she could be searching for power burst, etc. So, yep. she's really dope. Next, guys, we got our two Toki Toki Time Creator. This card uh, is just amazing. Just being able to, um, when you play this card, you basically search your deck. You put it on the top of the deck and you search your deck for a three drop. I mean, a three three K energy cost one drop. And so, basically, a lot of the times you're just Toki Toki in, summoning her, and um, drawing a card. This goes back in the deck, which is really good. So you never really, you know, you that's can Toki Toki him as well. Yeah. And you can also Toki Toki out for your Kami and blow up the board. So essentially, Toki Toki is like playing uh, five of this and three Kami, essentially, if they're in the deck. Toki Toki is just an amazing right. card. And if and they're in can... the warp or the drop, then you're gonna be able to power burst regardless. So you have access to fluidity, it's just there. And as we Correct. continue to go into the deck profile, you guys are gonna kind of get to, get to know more about it. Yeah, know more about the concept of the deck. Mm -hmm. Next, we got our negates. Um, these are multifunctional in the deck for many reasons. You're going to see later on the deck. But typically, it's just a one-drop negate. It is a 0k combo cost. I like cost. that, multifunctional. It is a 0k, uh, thank you. It is a 0k combo cost, so just be careful because you just can't combo it off. And start, you can combo it off, but you don't get no power for it. Yes. Um, but yeah, so on top of that, um, he's just a negate for now, and we'll get into him again. But he is his, uh, 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 Goku Zeno, which is amazing in the deck. Next, guys, our old favorite. This card is absolutely nuts. I love it. Oh, that's Full cool. mission accomplished. You guys saw this a lot in the old the Jax decks. Basically, I can just tap two energy while this card is in my drop. I remove it from the game, so it doesn't go to the warp. It does get removed from the game. I get to pick up a black seven drop or less um, from my warp or drop, I believe. Yes. Um, so two is fine in the deck because you get a fairly amount of mill going into the deck, and then you have a fairly good amount of draw power, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. Next, our super commas of choice are going to be our Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta. 
Now, so again, you're probably like, okay, well, how'd you like, why are you, no. We wanna be at four life, and typically you're gonna be at four life even if you don't want to. A lot of the decks, such as King Vegeta and a lot of the aggro decks, are forcing you to get to four life regardless. And so with that being said, I wanna have the best super comments in the game. There's no reason for me to draw one when I can draw two, or, you know, have a bibbity, a bobbity when, you know. Not only that, but um, one of the biggest things about this this card is that, um, you know, Hatchiak can play very well on both pivots. Hatchak doesn't really need to use the super combos unless he's in a detriment because he's a built-in floodgate. Um, he really don't need to use these. He can't really deck out. So ultimately, if the game is already going against your opponent's flow of their favor um, and you don't need to use these, then it's just Sometimes it's, it's you're just sitting nuts. there with three or four super yeah, combos like in your hand. The, if you should ever game. get that you know situation or be in that situation, it happens. But this is the best card to have in your deck if you're gonna be under or for life or under. So Correct. if his strategy doesn't work, these are the best super combos. And it's better to have a super combo that works as a contingency, which is also multifunctional, um, as, a, uh, as a contingency rather than have a super combo when you're just winning the game and doing well. Like, oh, I'm gonna be able to use, no, this is a better super combo overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, guys, for Pretty our nice. other negates and our three drops, we have our Supreme Kai of time this girl is amazing so in this version of the deck um clearly you can only attack with battle cards that are seven or less once. so if mm -hmm. you attack once which is seven or less and you have a big guy to get around my leader i can just negate and pop the eight drop or higher now you can't attack with him you only got leader attack or less which means you've just been shut out he's completely nullified your turn Correct. it's like chess and, and you just you know you had your bishop checking the knight or what have you or the, the the pawn is pinned down or something like that they go swing with a four drop dual attack try to deal with something you go negate your attack or whatever or get rid of that lead, pop the battle card pop the battle card that, 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 you know like the and, card and choice to, to, to attack. Right, and so you would only really use this in scenarios where your opponent has battle cards that are greater than their energy to circumvent his effect, which means now you're checking that and you're just controlling the flow of the game. So you have other negators and blockers to deal with battle cards that you otherwise wouldn't want to deal with, and this is only there to deal with battle cards. For the most part, obviously, situations change. But like the very for, big battle cards. Exactly. That can and that just keeps you, you know, your, your game you're state. Just and control. just you're such in such control. Uh, mm -hmm. Next, guys. Sorry about that, bro. We mm -hmm. got our four um, Gohans. Mm -hmm. This is just bananas nice. in this deck, specifically because bananas when a black battle card leads your battle area due to right. effect of a skill, you get to play him if he's not in your, your battle area. So not only do you get to trigger him off of somebody KOing your cards or something like that with effects or what have you, he also triggers off of your own effects, like Overham and or Toki Toki. Which is so also pretty nice. So when you Toki nice. her effect puts it to the top of the deck, you snap this down, and then you play another blocker. So, so on turn, turn one, one, you got two blockers instantly. Um, and this is extremely relevant for another line of play that we'll like, go into a little bit later on in the deck profile. Yeah. Um, but this is extremely relevant and such a powerful start on turn one. Um, outside of Kai. Like, if you feel like you're playing against a deck that you need Kai, you leave the energy open. The old, Other than that, yeah. you just go straight for this, and then it just, you, you, like, ugh. And four of this guy is just nasty because you just feel like they just don't go away. Yeah, and they you got some people feel like, oh, yes, I killed this blocker. And I'm like, okay, cool. Obviously, you're going to kill him because he's a big blocker. But once you kill him, I bring him out again. And there's no limit to how many times you can there's bring no him out. There's no limit once you can win. Yeah. Next file, Ghost Warrior Package. We play three slugs. Um, had this at four, I moved it down to three. I might move it back up to four, but three is an optimal number. You mm -hmm. usually see this card. This card is amazing. It's a free battle card. And basically the objective is activate main. You get to move three battle cards from your drop under your deck with an energy cost of three to seven mm -hmm. to play this card. So, so you got your these, blockers and there's more coming in the up. deck. Mm -hmm. And basically um, once you do that, he comes out for free. You can get a free attack of in, with him if you want to but, his but a lot of the times he's function. just more utility he removes right. so if you bring it out a battle card that's big I want to remove it sometimes they bring out their Kai on my turn or the secret rare on my turn I'm like okay cool awesome great remove it from bye bye Good night, you go know? by. And what's nuts is that, again... Good night, go the same, by, bye. Right? And then what's also nuts, again, is that look at how this composed. We have cards that's going to ultimately deal with our opponent's ways from dealing with him. Our deck is built to play the floodgate, not the opponent. And so now, these cards just 
just mitigate any type of advancement that your opponent may have. Like, for yeah. example, four, eight drop Bojack, it's a dual attack, double, um, you know, 30k, double strike, or what have you. It's a strong card. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Point blank. Right? You circumvent my lead? Nah. And he removes them from games. Right. It's so amazing. it's pretty nuts. And he's so free. And a lot of times, too, even against Blue, they, they can God sell him back to your hand. And you can play him again. Just do it again. Thank you. I need, yeah. Yeah, I need to put more cards to put uh, on. Next, guy. guys, we have our two, sorry, March Bulls. Um, yes, they look beautiful. They are pretty. I ain't gonna lie. Um, basically, they're in the deck um, for more draw power. They're combo power. They're fodder for him as well. Um, they're just really good. And you get to keep pulling these back. I'll show you um, with the upcoming cards in the deck. Um, next, for all, this is our overall package now. We play one Supreme Kai of Time. I'm God, sorry, I love this Trunks car. Power Overseas. And what's going on, Supreme Kai of Time, you scrub? Um, he's just <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Um, early on, you're afraid of milling with your leader's effect and things going under your leader, but that they essentially go to the drop. When they go to the drop, you really don't care. Like, even if you hit a uh, Supreme Kai of Time, which is a secret we're playing, but even if you hit that off of there or you hit off one of your big guys, it's perfectly fine because you can overrun with him and um, pick it back up. So it's okay right. because at least... You know, it's 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 in a safe place. Right. Every, anything in the drop or, or the warp in this deck is a safe place for your cards to be. Right. And um, if you mill him out, then you can just pick him up for two energy. Maybe the turn before, grab him, or even that same turn, pay and the four energy. Used to grab your you, big guys. You're really starting the game at turn three, turn four. And right? what's so crazy is, is that literally... So he's amazing because he's amazing, but you literally only have that issue within the first three turns at, within your first three mills, right? You're just afraid of putting something really big under your leader and then the drop. But, so that's six, that's what, four cards, six cards? Technically four, because you draw two, so four cards technically, right? No, you're says three. Six. six, six. So six cards, this is a good number to deal with those six, you know what I'm saying? Like, just yeah. solid. Pretty much. And that can get that, and that would get whatever Next for Overroom slash Dark Overroom, we play two Demigras. Um, Demigras in the deck just because he's a big 30k beater, and a lot of times on turn three, we want to just activate Demigra since normally we have blockers already on board. Our Unison is probably already on board. Um, so he's just coming out to attack, warping cards. I want to warp cards from you, and I want you to deal with that. Like, I don't care. And if you deal with him, you deal with him. But again, he's just a battle card of choice, especially from turns three and up. To attack with um, up until it's time for me to do what I really and want to do. And then also, with. especially before turn four, like but like turn three or what have you, turn two or turn three, really, really pivotal turns. Because when you look at your board so far, I mean, outside of this being an attacker, we don't really attack with this um, unless, of course, you have room. But outside of this being an attacker, this is just a very, very solid attacker. He doesn't compete with anyone else over dominance over the board. You know, the yeah. second you drop him down, he's your primary attacker until it's time to go and until it's time to put our big yeah, guys out. Yeah, because you're not really attacking with your blockers, and you would rather attack We don't with care. This. He's more, more so utility. He'll, for utility. Yeah, yeah. It, he can, like he mentioned, he can attack, but you'll pop him, and you'll have your attacker, so they don't exactly. compete. You know, it's very cohesive. Next, Continue. for our five drops, I'm sorry about that again. We play four of our Son Goku Saiyan Transcendence. Now, this this guy, card is beautiful in this deck, and it's one of the reasons why Overrun works. So, um, obviously, you can evolve over him when you have three energy. Um, you evolve over uh, one, this, no, it's this guy. So, so I, basically, so you negate, evolve him on turn three. You can dark over him that same turn because you probably should have a blocker or a power burst or whatever. You dark over him, get the stuff to the warp. Even if he's in the warp, it doesn't really... Even if you warp him out, it doesn't matter because now you pull him back and your Gokus and Vegetas for what we're going to show you later on. And he's just a 25k double strike. So it depends on what you want to do. If you want to attack with 25k double strike, you can. If you want to attack with the 30k, you can. But again, you probably attacking with him because I want to warp cards. You got to take damage and you got to warp cards. This is just like a utility, Batman's utility bow. This is right. something that I'm just going to activate, pull back so I can do more things. And he is a double strike, worst case scenario, if the game calls for it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's, it's up to you. Next, guys, we have more overall, which is our Mass Saiyan. And he's um, it's really not overall. It's more utility. I'm just... Nothing can harm this deck outside of striking it. You have to strike it from a triple strike, a, maybe a quad strike, even a double strike for game. Right. And, and like... This card, says, no. this card just says no. This card just says, "Hey, I have an energy open. You have a triple strike or a double strike or a quad strike, and you have to make every hit count. lethal or every hit count because again, you have to buy your time." They combo out this card just says, "No, nah, I'm good, bro." And throw the chomper on because they're trying to get me from three to one or something like that, and it's just not gonna work out because 
you have that ability right. to have this thing. I'm never really overrun with this card. And if there's a certain deck you're playing against, you just fool pick it back up or something like that. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how the game's going. But you're going to see you got a lot of time and a lot of control with this deck. Yep. Next, pair it up. We got a secret identity. What's just a black deck without that? Just cause. Just, yeah, more utility. You don't just even attack with this card. If you're not running a secret identity, you're bad. You, you don't even attack with this card. <laughs> nah, it's nah, literally nah, just stuff. Uh, but he's, he's just problematic like, cards. You just got to have it. You have to. Nah, so have going secret, into our know. finishers, we have our two... Um, Dark Masked King. This guy is just nuts. Nasty. Triple Strike. Um, when your opponent has uh, 10 cards in Warp, you get to untap him uh, with his Activate main. And also, when they use a counter from certain of these cards, this battle card's attack, um, they get burned to life. And think, he gets to restand. You send their life to the Warp, which is nuts. And I think he restands if they have... Ten or more cards in warp, and which warp. they usually do because they usually they play over them, and you have stuff, you have access to warping cards, cards. warping, mm -hmm. um, just just a plethora of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's so nasty is he he may actually be up to three, three in the deck, um, but what's just so crazy is that like you know once this card comes on board. All of your other battle cards, he like he's a general. All your other battle cards, like lieutenants Boy. or whatever, whatever you want to call it. The second he comes out, that's like one of the commanders. These guys step to the side. He's the primary attacker. He's like, yo, I'm gonna swing. If you counter, I'm gonna restand. I get to restand and go over that. So he's just your dual attacker, regardless. And once he's, yeah, late game, strike, which and it's just, just nasty. Really it's just nuts. And then for our main big boss battle cards, guys, we play this is the overall three, commander SSS four. I mean SS four Thornton Dark Empire. Empire. This card is absolutely yeah, nuts. The one art is just pretty nuts. Yeah, he's nuts. Four energy, and basically, um, you can send. A combination of your son Goku, Zeno, and your Vegeta Zeno. Vegeta Zeno to the warp, whether they're on the field and the drop to the warp, and uh, you get to play him before energy. Now, he does a lot for the deck, and I'm going to show you out. Basically, he's a blocker, triple attack. Once per turn, although when this card attacks, your opponent chooses two cards in their hand and two battle cards, ignore them barrier, and send it to their wall. So that attack is once per turn, which would be nuts if it wasn't. And then he has two more attacks. And then at the end of the turn, it switches this card to active mode. Ugh, um, that hurts. Yeah. And then it switches this card to active mode, and he becomes a 30k blocker. So 35K that's just... 35k blocker, which is pretty nice. 35k blocker, yeah. So he's nuts. He's removal. He's hand control. He's everything all in He's one. a blitzer. And then on top of it all, he's now going to be able to block to instantly, you know, work in tandem with the leader's effect. Exactly. And just shut you out of your crackback, so which is So for nuts. Dex, and then he's an eight drop, so he gets over your leader attack, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Which means you can go swing, swing, then swing, swing, swing. Yeah. And if they're still alive somehow, you can restand and block. You and know, right? have all this protection for the next turn. And the crazy part is, on that turn, you can even attack with this, get another card out the hand, and that's when that actual, that, the hand control starts to really go into effect. Next for our boss cards, we play our Secret Rare, which is our Supreme Kind of Time. Um, she's just the best in the deck to blow up the board, and she gets over our leader. And then we play our 10 Drop Fool, which is the uh, end or be all. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Next, we have our Super Saiyan 4 uh, Bardock. This, this guy, guy is amazing. He is the reason why the deck has gotten ten times better as well. Basically, he has a he's a two drop unison. Uptake for one, you just draw a card, which is really great because that's exactly what the deck needed. Just a unison that can attack and draw power. And he's a fifteen k unison, so he's a free attacker. Gets around your unison. Then he has a minus two, which is um, when your opponent attacks, they have to walk a card each time in order to attack. And so what's pretty nuts about this is that, so when we're talking about late game, after if he comes out turn two, and remember that play we told you guys earlier about this pretty nuts, Toki Toki bringing out these two blockers, that sets you up. So now you turn two, you can drop him, go up to three, swing, they can't take a marker off of him. They're already locked down by his floodgate, so he's definitely making it to your turn three, which you'll be able to have access to Demigra, etc. You would have blocked to defend, but also by the time we get up here, he has six, five to six coins possibly exactly. place one under. 
you can go swing with the Migra if you don't have him out, make them lose a card from the hand, then swing, make them lose two, and then turn on his floodgate just for them to attack with battle cards. Just and if they're even attacking one. him, they're not playing the game correctly. Exactly, but just to attack, they could just lose an additional card, just an which is nasty. Um, but mainly, he's just there for the extra swing and the stellar draw. Correct. And lastly, we have our four power bursts. Which is obviously power um, burst. Um, obviously, that. you're taking life. Sometimes people not, they don't like to attack your battle for your life. You can grab your Supreme Kai's, your Negates, these, these. You get to loop the Negates and stuff. It's pretty effective. And then we have our two um, unexpected, unexpected turn. turn. This card in this meta is completely amazing. It becomes your black counterplay when your opponent has three or more battle cards with an energy cost of two or more. The card being played goes to the warp, and then you warp everything. So they can be special summoning a 10-drop without deflect. That 10-drop goes to the warp. And now you walk two drops or less. Yes. When they have three. Now, this also hits your own, but obviously we don't care about that because we've already utilized we'll our blockers, block etc. Boom, boom. Sword. And then obviously when that card is needed, it's needed. And so the second you just hit that off, your opponent, a lot of times opponent, because they can't attack with so many cards, a lot of times the opponent places battle cards on the board regardless mm -hmm. because they just want to be able to do things. Sometimes they're just summoning cards to do things, but they can only attack, attack once. once. So at this point, now they just now this just makes any valuable battle card that much vulnerable because how they're forced to play against exactly. Hatchback. Exactly, and so that's the reason why I added it into the deck for that purpose. Um, for that purpose, exactly. Right. And so this is like that. So this is the deck, guys. I uh, only lost to Eon, which really didn't lose. I gave him the win, but. He was going to smoke me out probably. Well, no, I doubt it. But um, yeah, this is the deck. It's complete. It's beautiful. This is 56 cards. Perfect number of cards because between the mailing early on and the drawing, you're just doing so much. Then you have these super combos. So you're seeing a majority of the deck, right. if not all, between all of these draws and stuff like that. And it just feels amazing. Super powerful, super sturdy. And I think it's definitely one of the top decks in the format right now, if not... Right completely the top deck but yep. um but yeah so guys uh yo, if you have a for you hatch yak leader or something please yeah, hit man. us up because you know the I'm twins the can't <laughs> really you know we can't really you know rock with the non for you's <laughs> oh and i'm also looking for these uh, uh um spr if you guys got these too so cool. but yeah guys hopefully you guys like the deck test it out try it out yep. set 14 completely made this deck better um, I as will always. show you my sideboard, but that's going to be um, another uh, thing. But as always, guys, stay super. super. Hope you enjoyed the analysis.